give you a step by step on buying from Solaris Japan. Alright, let's start the website. Uh, on the home screen, to click on search and this will wrap up another whole page. And type in Anya, there she is. Alright, a few things to look at on this screen. So the first thing you notice, the website will automatically display your currency, but you can, if you go up to the top and click on the currency icon of the other currency you convert to, or in yen, yen is the base price, as this everything will be converted from yen to your currency of choice. Other things you note on the page is to show you the release date and the countdown with the last touch. Click on pre-order now and click on the shopping cart. All right, onto the checkout stage. A few things to note, the box you need to sign off on, that you are aware of potential import tax when keeping the invoice 100% or keeping the price at 100%. Look under, just under checkout, it explains a bit more. They offer a more custom friendly invoice, which will put a lower price on the invoice, but the trade-off is this will lower the amount that you can be insured. I'm just going to go with the default in the box and check out. All right, fill in the form with all your details. Let's do that quickly. And just add the shipping protection for an extra 200 yen. Once you're done, click on continue shipping. It'll take a little while to load the shipping weights. You want to then have three options. Depending on which country you're shipping to, you may not get all three options. And now this will do my grand total in yen. Once we're click on continue to payments. All right, payments. With international stores, I normally do with PayPal. Click on PayPal, which will change the button to a complete order. Click on that. And this will take you to the PayPal payment page. Just a quick note on PayPal. It will show you the amount in yen up the top and then under it will give you the price in your currency as well as the conversion rate that's under your payment method. Once you're happy, click on complete purchase. You do the, the order complete landing page with all your customer details. You get an automated email from Solaris Japan. Say thank you for your purchase, for your order number, and a little information that there may be shipping delay. There's a button to view your order, which will click you back to the complete order landing page. I'll catch you next step when you get the order is shipped confirmation. It's just been over a month. I start a notification email. They said that my shipment is on its way. Woohoo! That little emoji at the end. And this gives you a heads up that it takes 24 hours for tracking the updates. Click on the order button, it you back to the land page, but this time it has the tracking number, which is from Japan Post, which you can also click on as well, which will take you to the Japan website and the whole stack information. But since I won't have any tracking once it leaves Japan, I think I won't be monitoring it. Alright, I'll see you in the next segment when I receive the shipment. I just went to my post office and picked it up from Australia Post and here it is. It's a little bit banged up during shipping. Looks like a quite thin box as well. Let's open it up and see what the package is like. Let's take out the invoice first. Now we can open the box. Yay! Well, we're impressed with this packaging and protection so far. Wrapped up in bubble wrap. Man, super neat. So far, I don't see any damage on the box. This is great. Happy to port, it came in safely. Awesome stuff. If you'd like to see me unbox the Anya Lindor Idol, please go over here. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.